Where's Lottie? Where's Lottie? It's a whole different Where's way Lottie? Of saying Where's Lottie? Where's Lottie? Two piece. Two piece. Two piece. <laughs> she was in a trance or something? I don't know. I. I... Hey, what's going on? Sintel with the Intel here, and I'm here with the grand closer, Michael Claire. Grand opening. Grand closer. Yo, Atlanta, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> third season is about to be all said and done, episode 10. If you're just now catching up, we got a link in the descriptions for episodes one through nine. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Go ahead and click those thumbs up, properly massage those algorithms for us. Let's get started. For including me and my cousin and bringing us on your... Uh... Adventure. Business trip. It's business. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like we needed this little girls trip. I missed y'all crazy asses. So. Aww. Aww. Miss you too. Salute. Salute. What's that mean? Cheers. Is that what that means? Yeah. European cheers. So there is this black historical walk that I read about. Nice. And you follow like Langston Hughes, Whoa. Josephine Baker. Girl, oh, no. So, um. She said no. What? <laughs> how, did, how did like that? <laughs> But it's a little tough because you kind of have to know a local to like really get into the crazy stuff. Really? Well, why don't you call your peepee -pee boy? <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> uh oh. Did uh -oh. she see paper boy or or um, urn or? Girl, where are you going? The heck? Dix sept pour come to you. Toujours dix sept pour le bâton coude. Merci, Vanna. Van. Oh, Van. Did she say Van? Yeah, she did. Come I'm so sorry, Sherry. Oh, oh, thanks, Max. There we go. That's funny. Yo, that is funny. That's weird. Man out here looking like Josephine Baker. It's weird. It's super strange. I missed that shot of the meat. It just had random meat. <sighs> random meat. Yeah. She Friend. got a Boom. bagel on her back like it's a sword, and it's then it disappeared. It's a baguette. <laughs> yeah. Well, the baguette disappeared, didn't it? When she turned around. No, it's still there. Wow. Vanessa. No, no. Vanessa. This girl crazy. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. She had a whole different life. Oh. Just cute. Oh! Huh. And a significant other. Are we like in a alternate world right now? I have no idea. Et voilà! Whoa. I have a domaine charayon. Hey, uh, who is this? Well, that is Marcel, my partner, of course. <laughs> She's still selling it. Passion magnets, but I know you understand. <laughs> what, um, do you need any help in the kitchen? We can catch what up. What are you doing in Perry, actually? <laughs> she came on here to pee on some nigga. Oh! <laughs> Friends, they are... How do you say it? Yeah, I'm accent. Very cool? Yes, I will show you a good time. <laughs> so, yes, let us go. You know if you're gonna be all in, be all in. She's still carrying that baguette. Mm -hmm. How hilarious. What is she do? She's got scooters. For Wait. real, like she all in right now. She got an extra scooter. <laughs> what is happening? We're trying to figure what in the world. Okay, all right. She had a full blown magazine about her. Yeah, she was like it's the, <laughs> the main, uh, the main spread, event. The main spread. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. She really gotta take this bread everywhere we go. Huh? Yeah, right? That's what I said. Security bread, like she don't feel French without it. <laughs> Security bread. So oh, who is girl, this gonna be? This is not. Nice. gonna be one Why of Why is her accent so bad? I can't get over there. Because it's not real. I know. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, Shanti. Oh. He kissed in the mouth. Mm -hmm. It wasn't her partner. Oh. Yo, I like him. Vance Scarsdale, Vance Scars, I forgot the actor's name. Wasn't he in one of the earlier episodes? He was in the- Yeah, no. Yes. What is she doing? When did you start fucking Alexander Skarsgård? That's his what? name? Yeah. yeah. When did what you did start he start fucking Alexander Skarsgård? That's hilarious. He said he was Alex. Yeah. No, but this is like crap. You can't just- He loves when I play games with him. <laughs> she said the games. Yo, she, her hustle game is yeah, all 1,000 right now. Yeah, she's okay. playing games. Dude. Let's go. She just planted some stuff in there. Die if you stay here, you have to run. This is how she stays me. at different places. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. our last job to stay here. <laughs> They're like, what the hell? Oh, well, I mean, it was it was the Zoom with Alex to yeah. True Blood, so I mean, you never know who's gonna be there, right? <laughs> but in my head, I'm like, you gonna get us in some trouble. Oh, it's gonna be something. Yeah, nah. Van been off the chain this season. Uh, oh, oh, they in the hood. Nice, no? 
No, it Vanessa, is not nice. this feels like Candyman. Right? <laughs> That's, it does, it's actually. That was like Cabrini Green. Oh, here. I wouldn't. Ooh. Oh. She really ain't put this bread down once. <laughs> I fucks with it now. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. They, she said they can't leave out there, but they leave their scooters. It's probably not even hers. You fucked me. Emilio. You really fucked me. Who's was Emilio. Okay, who cares? Can we please just get out of here? Because I really don't feel safe. Jesus. Is Emilio the plug? <laughs> I like her. Uh -oh. oh, what is that? We have to go. Yo, I love it. It feels very like born identity right now or something. Oh, they threw out the call. The right call. You got a bad eye. What happened? Oh, bad eye and crowbar is never a good mix. Oh shoot, look. Nothing more I can do. Cigarette. She really about to born identity this joint. Look at this. This is the way. <laughs> what? what is happening? Yeah, they just they got distracted very quickly actually. <laughs> Y'all better dip. You know the rule. I was about to say, come on, black folks. You know when you see somebody dip, time to be out. Well, they didn't see her dip. <laughs> they didn't see it. They were busy watching that other dude get beat up. She's blocking with purpose, isn't she? Oh, with purpose. Van! Van, Van is like, look, there's a paperboard poster. Van is like, the world can bend towards me. <laughs> oh, but he was also come for a visit. Oh, 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 oh no, Emilio oh, gotta pay this tax, so I know that. With the bread, you think? Mm -hmm. She about to beat him with a baguette. <laughs> like, oh. Damn. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Surprise, Surprise my sucker. I am so. Oh, he shook. Uh, misunderstanding. I I have the package, but the package. but the package is for someone else. Oh, I love this. Did Delphine ring you? Oh no, she, she, she was supposed to ring you. Is this true, Amy? We are full blown French connection right now. Carlos, can you get someone to bring her some wine? Listen to the music. Cheese? Mm -hmm. Oh, and for friends, whatever they want. No. Why? Yeah. She said no. <laughs> we'll be just fine with some. Uh, bread. Huh? Bread? Yo, yeah. katana bread. I knew she about to do something with it. Please, everyone, go. Cette zone est fermée. Merci. Damn. Wow. Merci. Merci. Look at his face. I love the background music. Give me, this? give me this James Bond. Bink. Oh. Wow. Man, oh, about that life. Oh. 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 You, oh. you ever see the Tarantino movie with the bat Jew? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> the bread was working late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is when you leave if you're there for other the people. Where is the package? Uh, Look at your face. It's in the face. Janice, retrieve the package. She was like, oh, yeah. in the face. Oh, that's not how you do that. I know the other of us. Huh? I, I just I grab it, please. Too, though, yeah, just. You would have thought you had to break it? I don't know, maybe. I wouldn't have. I'm not, I'm not mad at this sister. Look, 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 she's full bone side goon now. Not me. I'd have ran. Don't come to dinner tonight. Carlos. Inglorious bastards. That's what I was thinking of. Mm. The, the bat juicing. Ladies? It's drugs, isn't it? <laughs> Why don't you be like some steak or something? I, I don't know what it is, but it's, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's gonna be like from the butcher. I would not be rolling with her. I'm just saying. They wanted some adventure. That's not the kind of adventure I would want. Oh, look at this. Nice little posh spot with the view. Vous plus Henri. <laughs> we have extra seats. Please stay for dinner. Oh, no, no, no. We Why, why not? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> she said, you're right? Look at her face. Okay, well, we was just talking about this morning. You was complaining about there's nothing really fun to do. Yeah, you were saying how to find the cool stuff. We have to know a local. Boom, here goes some locals. <laughs> I would not stay, yeah. <laughs> I would not do it. Something seriously wrong with Van right now. Girl, let her live her life. <laughs> she ain't hurting nobody. Uh, technically, she yes, is. Yes, she did. You're only saying that because you don't know her. Yeah, we don't, but I like whoever this is. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab a drink. <laughs> hey, excuse me, can I talk to you? Oh. Bravo. Oh. oh. Don't you ever do that again. <laughs> oh, oh, this 
disrespect. Disrespect. Oh, oh, it's dangling on the stairs. Yeah, that's You got it at least. Don't let it dangle though, man. You uh, can't let it. Just don't get it in your lip. Disrespect. Is he jerking off? You really hit me like that. Yes. Huh? Come on, man. That's, that's, is that how you sort the problem out? He look like the dude from Ratatouille. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> Little chef, where are you? What's Steph what Curry's wife's yeah. name? What's her name again? What the fuck is going on? I don't remember. She just gives me that kind of vibe. Oh, Candace says? Yeah, a little, little bit. bit. You're done. Oh, Aisha. I'm You're done making me feel like I'm crazy. Curry. Because today was nowhere near normal. Damn. Look, you came into my life. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> is mm. that not true? Because you're still in control, right? Chicken foot. You're still in control, you must beat him. That's a hand? Get That's there. a hand. Again. Those are no your fried hands. hands, look. Marcel, are these ready? Look. Yeah. Thank you. Why are they cooking up hands? This is their dinner party. Where are your, where are your shame rags? They're cannibals. Look, 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 look at the smile on her face. She's like, I'm all in. They're cannibals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> child. And money? I am working, as you can see. You don't see the hustle? These hands don't come cheap. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Man, I just think, think it's part of the ambiance. I was just about to say that it's part of the experience. Mm -hmm. You hear that? Uh, she she had finger. a finger. She ate it. Oh my God, girl, this is, this is a hand. Bitch, this is a whole hand. Oh my God. A whole hand. <laughs> Hey, hey, True Blood, he's had some, he's had some, uh, All right. human uh, uh, parts. Starving. It's like a go-time. Where are these little hands? Oh! oh. You want to see Lottie? <laughs> Where's Lottie? Where's Lottie? It's a whole different Where's way Lottie? of saying Where's Lottie? Where's Lottie? <laughs> two piece, two piece, two piece. <laughs> <laughs> she was in a trance or something? I don't know, I, I... You know, there's jet lag and... I was watching TV all night, and I, and then Amelie came on. Ah, great movie. Mm hmm <laughs> She's about to pee on him. <laughs> she got the tarp ready and everything. I would look. hope so. It's a very nice hotel room. Look, look, look. She got a go-go, too. Wait, the view? Look, the view of the it's, Eiffel it's Tower? It's so disgustingly romantic. <laughs> That's a dope room. Look, they got the full moon. <laughs> Look, her reflection. Take your pants off. That's hitting the tarp. That's not hitting him. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> not, just, I can't continue aim right it's now. It's the sound. It's so just. Yeah, that's the that's the tarp. Ugh. Is he even still down there? He might be swimming. Drowning <laughs> at this point. Oh, uh, she's just going. Good lord. <laughs> ah, thank you. Ah, thank you. It's too much. What is that? Trunk shot. Somebody in the trunk. Get the chair. Oh, oh. The oh, they're going home. Airport. Oh, luggage. Season nice four. Bag. That's a nice bag. Season four, back to the A, maybe. Yeah, they better. Yeah, I hope so. That looks like the A. I said that like. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that looked like one of them French kidnapping vans to me. Maybe there's some more hands in the bag. There's Ern. This is the only time we get to see him the entire season finale. <laughs> in the after shot. I know this is not my bag. Cool. Have a nice day, bro. He's like, I don't care. Just yeah. He's job he's like, this is my job. <laughs> Is his name on there? It says ATL. Ernest Mark. Oh, and it has his phone number. Would you open that? Mm. You don't know if you'd open it? What's the music? Does it come from the bag? Mm -mm. What is in there? Is that White Urn from the beginning of the show? The guy that was in the boat? It is, And the yeah. one that killed himself? It is. Yeah. Why did he send it to him? Well, I mean, because they have the same name. They're the same doppelgangers, oh, per se. Oh, that's right. You're right, yeah, you're right, you're right. Iron. That's creepy. I don't like the way this is making me feel. That's really creepy. 
Very serial killer-ish. Yeah, I mean, and here's the thing, like, okay, let's talk about just overall satisfaction regarding, like, this being the finale of this season. Are you satisfied? No. I don't know if I'm completely satisfied either. I'm not. It's good. Let me, let me first be clear. I was entertained. I don't really know what's happening. Mm -hmm. But I can't lie. As much as I was curious to know what was going on with Van, I don't know. I don't think I really wanted to see a full episode. I think I wanted to see a full episode with everybody. Yes. Including Van. That's me. You know, so maybe maybe that's what, what it is. And then who knows, after, after we process this for a little bit, maybe it'll fit a little bit easier once we think on it. No. But just my initial thoughts coming out of it is like, okay, you've definitely given me a puzzle box that I have to try and figure out. But I don't know if it stuck the landing regarding like closing out a season. It didn't for me at mm. all. Mm. Like I, I don't know. I mean, I have questions about like, you know, what Van was doing. I, I understand like she was trying to figure out her identity and yeah. what life she wanted to live and all of this. Mm. But I just think that she could have had that conversation with someone that we knew already. Like, you know, mm. with maybe Darius if she wasn't comfortable going to earn mm. or something. But yeah. She went there for a reason, right. and I just, I don't know, I didn't feel like it really wrapped up the season how I would have liked. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. You know, somebody had brought up a really interesting point, and they were saying that uh, due to COVID, there could have been like some some shooting t some shooting difficulties, right? Mm -hmm. Regarding getting two seasons worth of, of, of content, Footage. right? Uh, and this person brought up the fact that uh, maybe they really only had enough footage to have the main cast do the equivalent of maybe like eight or nine episodes, right, total. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing two two seasons and they're roughly like 10 episodes each, that means you got a whole other 10 episodes to try to like maybe like fill in the spaces. And that's, that could be a possibility as to why we saw so many filler episodes, right? Mm -hmm. So technically speaking, if this if this uh, concept is is on the nose, we're technically only halfway through what the original full season could have been because it's just got extended because of all of the filler. And I get that, but I still wouldn't have made this the finale. No, no, I it feel you. It would have been something else. You yeah, and this is me also trying to justify yeah, no, what, 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 what we've been seeing. What could have happened, yeah. yeah, but yeah. Overall, not happy with it as the finale. Okay. It, like you said, was it a decent episode? Yeah. Yes, was it my favorite episode? No. No, nah, nah, it's not my favorite. Yeah, so, yeah. But know. here's the thing, I think if if this episode itself wasn't the finale, it would be, we, we, we would think about it totally differently. It would just be like, this is a really good, right on par, right on brand with Atlanta all the way through. But because it's a season finale, you kind of like shine that critique light a little bit brighter, right? I think so, but I think too because for me because like when we did see the main characters mm -hmm. it wasn't like we just saw one of them right. for an entire episode right um because even when paperboy had his when mm -hmm. he was you know chasing the the young woman around town mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. darius was still there and at the beginning mm -hmm. um Ern was there at the beginning and the end mm -hmm. so i just feel like I don't know, just having her as the one character when we've very rarely even seen her this season right. just seems out of place to me. But I'm, I'm not gonna dwell on it anymore. Well, the overall, to me, mm -hmm. the, the, the overall arching theme of this season is like dealing with ghosts and spirits, in a, in a sense, for me. Okay. Um, and dealing with like the, the, the trauma and the ghosts and spirits of, of white people's past, mm. black people's past, because mm. we saw like elements of it regarding like when the season opened, we saw uh, them on Lake Lanier, the mm. white white urn in the boats, talking about the spirit of the dead people mm. of the, the community that was there before it was flooded. And mm. You're dealing with the dead spirits of black people. Uh, we're dealing with the spirits of uh, Trinity to the Bone when um, uh, the, the the caregiver was knocking on the door and then disappearing and stuff. Mm -hmm. And to me, this feels like um, Van is possessed. It feels to me like she's been possessed by something. Mm and she lost control to the point that she just disappeared on everybody and became a totally different person. Mm -hmm. You know, we saw her like slowly unraveling kind of like in The Exorcist with the little girl as she slowly begins to kind of unravel. Uh, and in The Exorcist, which is another pivotal moment, you know, one of the most pivotal moments in The Exorcist is the pee scene. 
when the little girl like sits there and looks in front of everybody mm -hmm. and she's like, you know, she squats and then she pees and it's super disturbing. Mm -hmm. Super disturbing. And it's also super disturbing because she pees for like a really long time, which can kind of like, maybe that ties into the last scene of this particular moment as she's doing like kind of like the, the same thing, exorcism, being possession, van being possession. You kind of see where I'm kind of like going with all of this? Yeah, I And then she kind of like snaps out of it a little bit. And she snaps out of it in a space where she looks confused. She doesn't really know where she is. And then she also says, while she's having this conversation with her friend on the bench, she said that she, this has happened before when she was in Atlanta and she was driving and she, I guess she her eyes rolled back. She closed, closed her, her eyes. eyes. And then when she came to, uh, she realized that she is not on the right path. She's not on the right road and she's on to incoming traffic. You know, she's not herself. And then we see, you know, it's grown and grown until we've seen this spy movie-ish, MLA-ish, born identity ish thing that that we've come across so maybe you know if we're going full circle with the whole season maybe the ghosts and the spirits of the things that we're trying to either accept and or deny um if you don't recognize them they'll end up taking control of you overall and then you're not even who you're supposed to be due to this type of possession hmm. that's a reach that <laughs> but, i mean that, but, was, that was Good. Are you? Are you? No, I'm done. Going? No, no. I'm okay. Done. Yeah, that was interesting. Um, I was with you. I'm with you on as far as like the ancestors, mm -hmm. um, ghosts of past, um, because you had mentioned the like Lanier and the Trinity de Bone. But remember, there was always the there was all there was also the um, the white family that had the foster children. Oh yeah, that's the, true. Uh, yeah. And there was um, there was another one that I just oh, I lost all train of thought. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with maybe like our ancestry. Um, when you talked about possession, I do feel like she had some sort of possession mm -hmm. in this particular moment when she's in Paris. But when she was talking about the thing that happened in Atlanta, it was more of a something that I felt like she was doing to herself. Okay. Because she is so unclear and doesn't know where to go and doesn't feel like you know, not sure of who she is, mm -hmm. right? So maybe she, there's some sort of depression or something there. Okay. Um, so that's what I got from from that particular thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting though. I, I feel you with the, just the whole, the whole idea of how our past and how different cultures are affected by what's happened in the past, right? Mm -hmm. What, what, but it's interesting that they, they chose to set it in a different country. Right. And even, but but a lot of the the other episodes, the filler episodes that they had, were based in America. Right. So that yeah. was kind of strange. Yeah. Like, why did they do that? You know right. what I mean? Why did they have that mm -hmm. actual uh, balance in this season? And mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly why. Yeah. I feel like if you don't like define who you are, somebody's gonna define you for oh, for you. True. Right. And hence maybe what the spirit is doing. Mm -hmm. um, hence maybe. Uh, with uh, some of the characters and just their their struggles of just of just uh, the, uh, some of our main characters like Darius is he's wanted this excuse me Earn Earn mm -hmm. Earn has wanted this since the first uh, two seasons to be this manager and this mm -hmm. and the third but maybe um, because this may or may not be his true self he may be not living up to who his true identity is. I don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to piece this together because there, there's a correlation between White Earn mm -hmm. that we saw in the beginning, mm -hmm. Earn that we see now, who is, you know, who we think is doing going about his journey, but may not be true to form because there was a moment right when Earn and um, and Paperboy and Paperboy was like he kind of like questioned him a little bit like you know you're so busy all you do is this mm -hmm. you know it's like you know it's, it, it, to me it kind of hints like you're not who you used to be kind of thing yeah definitely. right and then we bookend with white earned stuff coming back you know it's kind of like maybe um and it's kind of creepy especially with the slow pan and ominous music i get that that feeling of like chickens coming home to roost you 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 like whoever that version of him, if they are spiritually connected in some kind of weird way, it has shown up at the door. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe that is a piece of the thing. Like in a lot of old school horror movies, I think even The Exorcist, uh, if you touched this old ancient thing, this this devil's crest or whatever it is, that's what initiates the possession, mm -hmm. you know? And he just got this, you know, unannounced package from somebody who we've already known as a ghost and he's already going through and rummaging through the things. So now maybe the new possession is about to start with him. 
You know, I feel like Earn is incomplete this whole season. Mm -hmm. Maybe just like how Van feels like she's incomplete. And even how Paperboy, in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. may have felt that he has been incomplete. Exactly. And he has been haunted. He was haunted by his mother. I mean, we think the spirit yeah. of yeah. of who he I met, met could, it could be his mother. Mm -hmm. So everybody is dealing with, like, possessions and hauntings. And I think a lot of that is focusing on know thyself. Mm -hmm. And if you don't. Whereas Darius is one of the few people who's kind of, like, really self-aware. But even he had a fumble. He even stumbled. When he ended up selling out the, the Nigerian uh, mm. restaurant, mm. he didn't do it on purpose, but mm. just of him being aloof of his actions and not really paying attention, mm. you know, people still had a demise that mm. lost what, what, what there was. So, yeah, oh man, I know well, I'm babbling. No, I'm no, trying no, to we piece, both are. I'm trying to no, connect this these dots. This is how we process. <laughs> this is how we process, like, you know, instantaneously here in our reactions. Um, I had something to say and it was so good and now it's going away. Oh, okay. At the end, right? Uh -huh. So he gets the bag and we're talking about the other version, the white version of her, him, you right. know, Urn. The right? white Urn. Yeah, uh -huh. the white Urn. So the shirt he pulls out says Deftones. Yeah. So in my head, like, it, I think of like how things fall on deaf ears. Mm. So I'm curious to mm -hmm. see, you know, you know, all of this that he's shown in this entire season is it gonna fall on like deaf ears mm. is it like deaf tongue oh that's so, good yeah so that's, that's really yeah, good yeah so that's what i got from the shirt oh, i, I didn't like, even piece that together yeah, I was that's like, good Ooh, and so he looks at it he's like oh you know yeah. and he throws it on his shoulder and that's yeah. like you know so i'm just curious you know yeah oh. that part that part all right so the one thing that has been remained consistent is that there is always like it, every every individual episode has its own storyline. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think the individual storyline is on this? He had some some friends came to visit. wasn't even our central character. It's just no. somebody that that's adjacent to Van Random who starts people. it off, uh, and they want to get a chance to see the real Paris, right? Um, and. She said, you can't really see the real Paris unless you talk to somebody who's really local. from here, a local, local, right? And then here comes Van, who isn't really from here, mm -hmm. but plays the part, mm -hmm. right? Um, I feel like maybe there's some kind of connection to people that want to be a part of the black experience, uh, but they can't be a part of the black experience unless they know somebody that is in the black, that is of the black experience. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, I think people that aren't of the culture attach to things that may understand the culture, but is not of the culture. For example, uh, like some music that gets cleared by radio stations that may not necessarily promote uh, black the black experience in the most positive light, or television shows, or fashion that people things that that don't know the roots and, and the story behind why that thing is popular. Like let's just say like white culture will attach to that and think they know the rest of the culture through through this attachment. When that thing that they're attaching to isn't necessarily real and true to form either. Just like Van isn't real and true to form. She's not really, she's not really from from Paris. She's not. Her accent was horrible, mm -hmm. but yet she took them on this fantastical adventure, kind of like our music does, kind of like some of the TV shows we watch, uh, our clothing and everything that is about black culture takes them through this experience and this ride. But it's still not the real thing. Well, and the funny thing is, when you say all that, I think about how they had Alex when he was in the hotel room, and he was like, oh, I love this song. Yeah. And he was jamming to the song, <laughs> and you know what I mean? He was like, mm -hmm. let's take our clothes off. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that those are some of the stereotypical things that, like, you're talking about that maybe he sees as... Because, you know, oh, you see black women, let's take our clothes off. You know what I mean? That's just in his ah, head. Ooh, or, he, or he hears the music, it's Ashanti, you know, ah, baby, whatever. And he's like, ooh, I love this song. Yeah. And you know what I mean? So yeah. it's just like him kind of maybe feeling like he's in the in the vibe yeah. because they're there. or You know what I mean? So I, I feel you on that. Also, the interesting thing, when they were talking, when Candace and her friends were talking about, we want to see Paris, like mm -hmm. we want to experience, there's this there's this actual place that we can go and walk the footsteps of length. Right, and and good that. point. You know good what I mean? Point, yeah. So that's what they equate, like only the people that they know or that, that are spoken of mm -hmm. are the people that I think, you know, people see as our culture mm -hmm. when there is so much more to it than just that mm -hmm. including trying to figure out our identity including having our identity stolen from right. us and not knowing who we genuinely right. are and mm -hmm. struggling with that on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. um, like Van is yeah um, so all of that kind of like I think ties together mm -hmm. with what was taken mm -hmm. and then you know what continues to be taken how right. we're viewed how we view ourselves and it's like that whole 
it's a whole cultural thing that we deal with every day. Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, and you know, and you brought up something that's really interesting too, and that is like when they did want to have, they were given the opportunity to see a black experience mm -hmm. from the real black people that yeah. really experienced it. Yeah. yeah like, we don't want to see that mess. Yeah. You know, we don't want to hear about Langston Hughes and all the other stuff. Like, it, they just really dismissed it. They was like, we're here to have fun, mm -hmm. which is, I think, what people feel like when they look at black culture. You don't want to care about the history and the pain mm -hmm. and, and everything, uh, uh, the, 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 the Atlantic slave trade and, mm -hmm. And redlining and all the others, all the others. Nobody wants to hear about that. They just want to sit there and party and have fun. Mm -hmm. And there's some really poignant moments in there in this party to have fun. And and it's and that is you know the drugs when they went with like when you said when they were trying to drug scars guard and everything and they're just having a really good time. They're riding on the scooters and they they get to go into like you know uh, uh, an impoverished part of of. of Paris, mm -hmm. uh, and the other two are like super excited. They're like, oh man, this is great. Like they have no idea that their lives are even really in danger. Um, but there is one person who is, who I really wouldn't have expected until right now. And that is the, the, the main girl who is, yeah, who is Van's best friend or not Candace, best friend. Her Candace. Acquaintance. Yeah. Candace can see through the facade. She's like, this ain't, this isn't cool. Yeah, you know, we, yeah, this, this, yeah. Hey, that's not her. Yeah. And, and, and her friends are like, well, I don't care who you think, you know, I like this version of her. Which is really poignant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and not only that, like, okay, so they go to the hood, mm -hmm. right? They go to this place. And then, so what do they equate it to? Candyman. Caprini mm -hmm. Green. Caprini one of the, one of the, one yes. of the most um, uh, well-known uh, hood, hood projects, excuse me, projects in the whole country. Right. And then what happens? So the, the people are coming to them, mm -hmm. right? But then what happens? Somebody in a car does something black on black crime, right? So here we go. They're going after him now. So then they have the chance to escape. Another thing, right? At the dinner. First of all, they're eating hands. Very cannibalistic. They're all excited and happy about this wonderful dinner. What do they do? They put napkins over their head. What does it look like? The a hood over their like head. A hood. Yeah, hood it over does. Their head. It does. So I was like, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. And yeah. then the hands, I mean, they did have some white hands too, but what was it? It was, it was fried. Like fried and breaded, butter, get you, get you, you know what I mean? Yes, so I was it like, was. And they had a little piece of like, cornbread they, on the it side. Did. It was a piece of cornbread. It was all fancy. It was. You know what I mean? So this is like this whole dinner thing. So I mean, I, I, I feel what you're saying mm -hmm. wholeheartedly about the culture and who does what to the culture, who takes what from the culture, what, what it, how it affects us. All of these things. That was really brilliant the more I think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it's a, but we said that in the beginning. Beginning, before we even got started, it's like okay, maybe we have to process this yes. first before we give it like proper judgment. Yes, um, and it is—it's a very good episode. But no, but I still hold true I do too. that it's not the finale that I want. I agree. You know, but just because I didn't get it didn't mean that it wasn't good. It was yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, another point. What's that? Right? They go into the art museum. Mm -hmm. What's in the art museum? What kind of art is in there? Oh God, I blanked out. Yeah, but I mean, it's okay. You see, yeah. see all these like statues, right. these Parisian statues, and yeah. all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And what, like, where is where's the package? It's mm -hmm. in the, you know, in the vase or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to me that they chose that because of you know art and mm -hmm. how we're represented in art or not represented in art mm -hmm. and the artists of our time. How we just are very. Um, it takes a lot for us to be. Um, um, actually in the public eye and okay. all this stuff. So I don't know, I just feel like there was a connection also yeah. with the art museum because we also had the art museum in um, Paperboy's. Uh, That's very true. His his situation mm -hmm. too. I loved how he kept reminding you that, you know, we're still in the world of Atlanta too because mm -hmm. you saw the Paperboy uh, um, Poster. posters all over the place. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just letting you know that we are still in this Atlanta universe. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it, you're not outside of of, of where everything started, you know, it, it, it kind of kept me grounded. Well, and even Candace was from there, yeah. you know what I mean? And she kept saying, oh, I know her from Atlanta or mm -hmm. Atlanta, you know, these people are from, we're from Atlanta and mm -hmm. um, we're gonna, should we go back and all this stuff. So it's interesting. So, yeah. yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Oh man, the fried hands was just, it was just too much. I didn't, yeah, that was really weird. Mm. And the spitting on Scar Scar was a little, I, 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 I'm sure oh, there's probably Alex, a lot more depth yeah. to it on Alex. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's more depth to it. I just haven't connected the dots in my head. And I haven't really connected the dots in my head regarding um, Van's new boyfriend, the, uh, the yeah. cook. Yeah. Somebody who is, I guess, helped creating the BS that everybody else is, is eating. Mm -hmm. The horrible BS, the, 
the cannibalistic BS mm -hmm. that everybody's eating. The more I'm talking about it, the more I'm kind of explaining it to myself now. Mm -hmm. And how she was, she had every intent to marry this man. Mm -hmm. um, wow, okay. Um, it's still, okay, I'm still, I'm still piecing together. Okay, so let, let, let me move forward a little bit. So where am I, something I can connect to. Uh, the ending, which is, it's difficult to watch, but I can understand the beauty in its intent. And that is one of the young ladies who was all like asking all the questions about peeing on somebody. Oh, okay. okay, and then she shows up at the door and we find out that she's got the gig. Um, and she's like, you know, anxious to let it go. Uh, and then she looks out and you see this beautiful, this beautiful view mm -hmm. of everything. Mm -hmm. And she's releasing herself, mm -hmm. you know. But to me, what's disturbing to me is just the sound. Oh. You know, it's just like non-stop. I know I, I want to keep going back to, to the exorcist moment. And it's this horrible thing that's happening, but she's looking and, and and basking in the beauty of it all. And then we're interrupted with the guy choking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just, like, is there, I, I know there's another layer of depth behind as to the why behind it. Mm -hmm. I, I maybe can't connect the dots as to figuring out what, what that is. Does anything ring, ring true? Well, I mean, the only other thing that, uh, you know, the only other thing that I could think of, you know how when when people like shit on your culture or shit on you or something mm -hmm. like that, I'm sure that they maybe didn't want to take it to the to the crapper, uh -huh. but maybe so that's why it's pee instead. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't know. Cause but I, I honestly have to think and process that myself. Cause A, I'm, I don't know about getting down with the pee, going right. in showers and mm -hmm. all that stuff, but um, so I'm curious. I, I I can't connect that right now. Okay. I'm sure maybe later we'll be like, oh yeah, maybe it meant yeah. this. But I, right now, no clue. You know what I'm realizing? I think is that Van's character mm -hmm. in this, her fake character, her fake pseudo uh, French ca character, is the bad guy for for the culture. She is the bad guy, mm -hmm. and she walks around with it like she sets up people, sets up people with bad drug deals. You know, she's going into the hood trying to get something that's illegal, which we, we think is illegal, and we find out that it's, it's hands, the, the delivery of hands yeah. wasn't on time. Uh, and then she goes to find out, she goes to find the guy that was supposed to be delivering these hands, and then that's who she meets in the in the, in the museum. Mm -hmm. And it's a black man. Emilio. Mm -hmm. Emilio. And she beats the holy shit out of him with this, with this old baguette mm -hmm. that's like I guess a couple of months old and she has like this full on um, 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 monologue talking about you know how old how old the bread is it, it reminded me a lot of Unglorious uh, Bastards when the bat Jew comes out and he just beats the hell out of this beats the hell out of this, out of this Nazi um, but is she talking about the content getting stale and forcing black people to come up and have to create more things to be cannibalistic because he didn't deliver on the hands, right? Mm -hmm. He's an artist, we're assuming, because he's in an art gallery, and she beats him with what, she beats him literally with the speech that she's giving. You know, how can something that's supposed to be fresh, you know, if it's two weeks old, if it's two months old, what if it's six months old, or whatever it is, and she absolutely, like, forces him to give give up the goods. Mm -hmm. So is, is, is this theory maybe holding true that she is anti-black culture? She's embodied anti-black culture? I think partly too, because you know, to give that extra little twist to that, as far as like Emilio is concerned, mm -hmm. they also um, made him in a um, male male relationship. Mm -hmm. So maybe that speaks to like uh, mm -hmm. gay culture, as far okay. as like in the black community. Mm -hmm. um, because I, I don't think they would have introduced us to his partner, who's the security guard, and their, the, his fiance. Okay. Like, I don't understand really the relevance of that. Okay. It, I think, like we always say, every little piece of what they say, show, do means something. It means something, yes. So I, I just try, I get caught up in trying to figure out why they decided to have this conversation or, or mention that. No. Um, I do see Van as. Um, Maybe an interesting portrayal of the stereotypes of a lot of a lot of our culture. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know exactly how the French uh, view and deal with our culture. Mm -hmm. I don't know if maybe that's tied mm -hmm. in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm very confused. Right. I'll just say that. Well, I think her portrayal of a French person is hokey. 
just like you know a lot of the culture's portrayal of black, black people, people is hokey mm -hmm. you know, her, her accent is terrible she's got the stereotypical yeah, striped shirt, striped shirt. And the, the bangs yeah, and, yeah and she's riding like, around with a, a baguette on a scooter yeah like like it's really like it's like come on like we know what you're trying to say yeah. but we we also know and respect the fact that there's going to be a lot more depth to to French yeah. culture oh, than the baguette, then, then baguette is scooter and, and, and an omelet reference. <laughs> and fried hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and an omelet reference on top of that, which is super obscure for, for I'm sure, a lot of people uh, today. Um, and the Eiffel Tower yeah. has some significance because they showed it on more than one occasion. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think that's actually kind of a good good space to maybe like close out on. Uh, there's, a, there's a poignant conversation when she, when, um, when Van actually talks to her friend. And then we get a chance to maybe see the old van, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. um, like she has some cold water dumped on her face, you know, and she's like, oh, she, and she finally just like woke up. Um, I stay woke. <laughs> you know, nice and poignant. You left that mat open mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. I stay woke. Go ahead, get, get your groove on. Yeah. Please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, okay, sorry. All right, yo, I mean, we have absolutely, like, beat the hell out of this poor little horse. Um, <laughs> Why the, you gotta beat the, the horse? is like, no more. Wait, was that what's no in the more. butcher shop? Yeah, <laughs> yo, bro. All right, let's put it on a plate. <laughs> Fry it up with some cornbread. Okay, sorry. Okay. Right, hey, let us know what you think. Please. Yeah, I know we have certainly missed some really poignant moments. Uh, please let us know. Of course, keep it civil. Uh, how did, how was this episode overall and how was it in terms of it being a season finale? Were you mm -hmm. satisfied? Were you not satisfied? Mm -hmm. what, what expectations are you looking for uh, regarding the, the season four uh, that's, mm -hmm. that's supposed to be hopefully coming um, right around the corner? It has been <laughs> a hell of a ride. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Sintel with the Intel. I'm here with the incredible Michael Claire. Until next time. Until next time. Yo, go ahead and hit that subscription button if you haven't already. And of course, give this a thumbs up. That's how the algorithm knows. Get digging when we get it. That being said, we out. <laughs>